So the story is this, this company has a number of jobs uh, that or number of tasks work that must be done, milling, drilling, painting, and the quantity of each task that they must perform is given to us. Of course, for every thing that they want to do, they have to do a setup of their machinery. Even in services, when you want to do surgeries, you have to set up your surgery room, for example, for eye surgeries, and then you will do a bunch of eye surgeries. Then you'll set it up for hip and knee surgery, and then you will do those kind of things. So this idea of having of the, the necessity of setup time and or change over time and then process time is common between goods and services. In this case, it is things happening to goods like milling and drilling. Uh, so we know how many things must be done and we know how much time is the setup time, how much time is the process time. Now the question is, if this is the amount of work that they must do during a week, how many employees do they need? Which is basically the resources. I could also ask you if this work was done by machinery, then I could ask you how many machines they, do they need? You know, from the, our mathematical point of view, it doesn't matter what is the processor. Also so write it, is, it down because they will scroll up and then you won't see the numbers. So the employees needed, wouldn't it be like be based on um, how many units we need to process? Yes, and the, um, the, it is given to us. This is the number of units that we have to process and we have the setup time and process time. So we can find out how much, how many hours of work is needed. And then based on that, we will hire employees and each employee works 35 hours per week. Okay, so let's find out how many hours of work must be done. Or the, in other words, uh, capacity we need for milling. Okay, so we need, of course, three hours for setup time plus twenty two multiplied 0 0.9 for each one of those 22 jobs that must be done. So please tell me how many hours of work is necessary to do the milling. 22.8. 22 multiplied by, what did you say? 22.8 total. Well, we need processing time and setup time. Yeah, this is the so setup you have to time. multiply 22 times 3 and 22 no, times no, no. The setup time. 22 times 0. 0.9 plus 3, right? Yeah, it, like as I'm showing you. The three hour setup time is for the batch. For the, you know, you set up your machine for milling and then you do all of your milling. No, for drill. Uh, the setup time is uh, one, and the process time we need 14 multiplied by 1.6. How much is the capacity we need for doing the drilling? Twenty-three point four. Very good. For painting, two 
plus nine multiplied by each one of those lines takes 0.7. Eight point three. Eight point three. So now the total capacity needed. Fifty four point five. Uh, sorry. Fifty four point five. Oh, fifty four point five. Very good. So now. Now we have to like allocate it proportionately per per um per uh division so oh we don't no there is no division in this we will do i will do another question for you based on divisions but here uh, it's like a shared or pooled work environment um so they are pooling their resources into all of these tasks uh, now the question is how many employees we need. To find that out, we will divide 40, uh, 54.5 divided by 35. For every employee, we will get 34, five hours of work capacity. We need 1.5, 1. 1. 1.5571, 1. so two employees. Exactly. Therefore, we need two employees. Now, next part of these kind of questions always asks a question about utilization. Notice that, of course, when we hire two employees, because we need more than one employee, uh, then the utilization will not be 100%. What will be our utilization. And now to answer that, utilization is what we use. We will use 54.5, remember the formula, divided by the capacity that we have. Two, 70 hours. Yes, exactly. So utilization will be seventy seven point eight five seven one point seven seven eight five or yeah. seventy seven point eight five percent, depending if the, the question didn't ask us to convert it to percentage, but these are mathematically equivalent. 77, right? 77%. Notice that we don't like to have a utilization of like 95%, um, you know, considering all of the work hour allocated to work because people need to have some break time and we cannot assume that they work um, like a machine. If it was the machine, you can go to utilizations to complete utilization. But for people, you have to consider some um, safety capacity for your capacity if. And our capacity cushion is 70 minus, oh, sorry. 70 minus 54.5, which is whatever it is, it would be 15.5, <clears throat> right? Hours of work. So some, if something happens, if one of the employees has a sickness uh, within this margin, still we will be able to, uh, to finish what we want to do during the week, uh, during that week. 
you know, uh, the, the amount of capacity cushion now depends on the uncertainty in the work environment, and that can be calculated based on the statistics. So you, you may ask, okay, how much capacity cushion is, like in this case is about 23% capacity cushion. Um, is it enough? Um, you know, I think it is enough for most cases, but to, to answer it specifically based on the statistics, we can find the, the, the variations of completion times and based on that, you can calculate it. Amir, Amir is the 15, sorry, I just had to do something. 15.5 hours, this is uh, per week or is it per um, day? Work per, everything was per week. Correct. Or 15.5 hours of variations. Uh, notice that it's not just, a, you know, the variation can be loss of capacity as the result of the sickness. Also, you have 15.5 hours of work capacity just in case that another order comes. You, 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 want, you don't want to be fully loaded and then you will have the cost of lost opportunity. So while the, these two employees are doing their work, they're about 80% utilized, nice. And by the way, if some more work comes, you don't have to say no to that extra work that comes to you. This is a, just, I'm drawing your attention to, we are not unhappy that we have some extra capacity. Uh, so now I show you what is happening here. The work has a number of stages and the time uh, to complete one unit is given to us. So five, this is time needed per unit. And another every task that they have to complete, a number of work must be done on it. A set of steps must be performed. And uh, some steps must be performed after the other one. So now a number of questions are asked uh, from us. And the first one is, uh, oh, the, the information is this. The, these two stages, are handled by admin people. It's like reception, probably something like that. And uh, these two stages are done by uh, assistants, assistant managers. And uh, this is done by coding specialists. They can pool their labor. Resources can be pooled. Maybe I write it right. For example, these admin people, they can do resource pooling. And it's obvious, of course, these two will also do pooling because they are the same group of people doing the same job. And the previous question, everybody was pooling. And uh, now the first question is that how many admin clerks should be hired. Very similar to the previous question. If we want the utilization, it should be 85%. 
Now, of course, the utilization depends on the input to this process and the input to the process is given somewhere that is 27 units per hour. We're solving for X. Uh, solving for, uh, yeah, the number, like it depends. Like we want to find out how many admin clerks do we need. And admin clerks are doing these five minutes of work and three minutes of work for every arriving job combined. So basically we have to look at these two together. So to answer that part of the question, we would say, okay, five, plus three is eight. Eight minutes of work must be done per unit. This is the work by admin. Admin work per unit. Now, um, how many minutes of work they have to do per hour 27 units yeah. so uh, yeah 27 units per hour multiplied by total admin work per hour would be 27 units per hour and for every unit they have to do eight minutes per unit. For those of you who are interested in the mathematical notation, notice that 27 units per hour, unit is in the numerator, here the unit is in the denominator. So the final answer will be 27 multiplied by eight will be 216. Yeah. And the, the measurement would be minutes. minutes per hour. So we have to do 216 minutes of work in every hour. So how many admin clerks do we need? 216. Each admin worker will have 60 minutes of work time. So the number of uh, admin workers that we need will be? 3.6 or four. 3.6. Therefore, we will need four. Just for those of you who may be not completely following, notice that even if it was 3.1, we had to work hire four people because the work must be done. It's not, we are not rounding 3.6. We have to satisfy the fact that we need work for 3.6 people. Even if we needed work for 3.1 people to be done, we had to hire four people. Good. That doesn't account though, yeah. for the uh, uh, utilization rate, is that right? So what about the 85%? Yeah, I oh, think yes. we need more. Yeah. No, so let's calculate that. So now if we have four employees, four employees will give us four multiplied by 60. This would be 240. Now 216 over 240 is our utilization. What we need divided by the total. What is the utilization? 90%. 90%, so pretty good. Right, but it's over our threshold, right? Well, over, are we like using too much? Um. I don't think that their goal is to to determine the, a maximum. They want to determine a minimum because, you know, they, they don't want you to say five or six or seven people in this case, because if you say 10 people, still the work will be done. Right, but isn't the target utilization rate a given? 
Yeah, pardon? Isn't the target utilization rate given in this this question? It's at 85%, so we're over? Uh, yeah, we have to say at least. Yeah, if I was writing the question, I would say the utilization. Oh, so we want the utilization rate to be at least 85% rather than a maximum. Let's assume that. Because if it was at most, then the number of answers could be infinite. Five employees, six employees, seven employees, all of those would satisfy an at most criteria. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. But I agree with you that the wording should be more precise. Now, next question is that what is the coder utilization if we have two coders? And notice that for every job, coding is necessary. All of these things are necessary for every job. Uh, just the order of them is different. So for all of these 27 um, tasks that we have to do per hour, we have to do the coding. So each coding takes six minutes. Therefore, the total coding work need is 27 multiplied by six minutes. Help. 162. 162 minutes. And there are two employees, current capacity. is two multiplied by 60 minutes per hour, 120 minutes. Utilization is total capacity 120, utilization 162. One point three five. One point three five. Three five, which is one hundred thirty five percent. So, is this possible? No. Yeah, exactly. So, when we calculate a utilization of more than one hundred percent, and some of you lose some marks in the final exam, notice that if you see that a utilization of any unit is more than 100%, it means that no goal. something is wrong. Yeah, like in, in this case, it means that the coders will not be able to serve and basically the whole company cannot serve these 27 people. Um, so the conclusion is that uh, um, they cannot perform their duty. So the company cannot perform 72 units per hour. Now, next question is that what is the total process capacity? What is total capacity? The total capacity in units per hour, if we have three administrative width, three admin, two coding, and four assistant. Notice that with three admin, um, you know, basically we cannot serve 27. But now they are not asking us to serve 27. They are asking us, what is your capacity? Like after all, 
how many people you can serve, okay? So to answer that question, we have to find out the minimum of the total capacity because if something goes in from here, must come, must come out from there and all of these tasks must be done. And admin are doing a number of things, coding people and other people are doing things. So we have to find out what is the, exi you know, the existing capacity based on this assumption. So now, uh, three admins. So let's go over what we are doing here. With three admins, each one will have 60 minutes. So let's call it admin capacity. Three multiplied by 60 is 180 minutes is their capacity. And if we want to convert it to the number of jobs, they combined have to do uh, eight minutes of work. So um, units per hour for them would be, yeah, 160 minutes. 180 minutes and eight minutes per job they have to spend, five plus three. So please tell me how many units uh, per hour? 22.5. 22.5, okay. So this is their capacity. Now, next let's okay. take care of coders. Two of them. would be 120 but coders uh, job each job takes six minutes how many 20 very good and let's see how many what is the capacity for assistance? Four assistants. 240 minutes. Now, how much time they have to do for every task? Eight. Again, eight. Yes. So, Three. how much? 30, 3 zero. Three. Zero. Okay, so assistants can do 30 units per hour, uh, coders can do 20 units per hour, and admin can do 22 units per hour. Total capacity is the minimum. It's called the bottleneck principle. Your capacity is the capacity of your bottleneck. And the bottleneck in this case is 20, 22.5, and 30. 20 units per hour. Now, um, the question doesn't ask you that, but what would be the utilization of coders? 100%. 100%. And others will have some, you know, uh, capacity cushion because um, the admin can take care of 22.5. We are giving them 20 units per hour. So even when the coders are working at their 100% utilization because they are the bottleneck. Admin will have some capacity cushion and assistance. Um, so maybe another question can ask you um, if, the, if they are doing their maximum capacity of work, which is 20 units per hour, what, is the, what will be at that time the utilization of assistance and so forth? which would be another nice question, but you know how to answer that. 